All right, so the last video that I'm going to put up tonight, um, we're going to go over the offensive line dev trade upgrade. This is an optional upgrade that you don't have to do. Um, it's part manual. It doesn't automatically happen. We don't even have to run it through the franchise editor. So it's completely up to you whether or not you want to do this. Um, the reason I wanted to put something in like this was because, um, as I said in the intro video, that Madden will upgrade positions at the end of the year uh, or upgrade the dev trait at the end of the year automatically depending on awards, Pro Bowls, certain stats, things like that. But the way the offense line works is that they will never upgrade, not one time. Um, I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's right. Plus the way I built the progression tool um, by giving players bonuses or re-rolls on potential um, when they get a dev upgrade, it kind of puts them at a disadvantage. Um, does that make the gameplay worse? Not necessarily. Uh, but I still feel like that I want them to be on the same line um, as the rest of the players. And when you run a 10-season progression um, or a 10-season sim to check out the progression at the end of that, while it's not bad, offense alignment are definitely just a little bit less on their average overall than pretty much all other positions um you're talking like 65 overall on average compared to 68 overall and i know that doesn't seem like a huge difference but it kind of is um so again this is completely up to you um until we can maybe find a time to do this automatically uh i feel like that i will come up with with revisions on how to do this better on how to make it work this was something i just kind of came up with real quick on the fly um to to get it in in the game now um you can or when you run this thing you're going to get about an average of four players a year who four offense linemen a year who get a dev upgrade um which is about in line with kind of the rest of the league um sometimes you'll have less sometimes you'll have more it kind of all depends uh the way this is broken down as you can see right here um, you have your NFC and AFC Offensive Alignment of the Year. And then you have every Pro Bowl position for each division. Starters and backups. Um, on this side, it asks you, are we going to do a dev upgrade for these people? And it'll tell you either upgrade or not. Now, it's just it's all by percentage. It's a, a random number, controlled randomness like I, I do before. Basically, any one of these positions have like a 15% chance to upgrade. And these guys have closer to a 50% just because I feel like if you're an offensive lineman of the year, you should definitely have more of a, of an opportunity. Hence why both those guys are upgrading right here. And you only have two out of all these guys here. To run this tool, you just click on it. It's going to shoot you to whatever your last sheet open is here, which is the macro tools right now. So I'll actually slide that over now just because. And it changed. So you can do this as many times as you want. Click, 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 click. Like it's just gonna basically just keep changing the the percent or the random chance. That's all it is. It's gonna re-roll the random number and then give you a yes or no. Um, so I'm gonna go with that. There it is. So we have no offense alignment of the year. They got a dev upgrade. Now the way you would read this is the AFC Pro Bowl right tackle one, so the starter gets an upgrade. The NFC Pro Bowl left tackle one gets an upgrade, and the left guard one gets an upgrade. Now. Here's one thing that got brought to my attention that I totally forgot about. That is, just like in real life, if you make the Pro Bowl, but you go to the Super Bowl, you're not on the Pro Bowl roster. Who in the hell would have ever thought that EA would put this rare, random thing inside this game? And I have a feeling the only reason they did it was because you're actually able to play the Pro Bowl this year, unlike years past, where you couldn't play the Pro Bowl. Okay. Which is actually kind of funny because it's not allowed me to play the Pro Bowl. I wonder if you have to have somebody on the roster to do that. Regardless, I don't even care. Um, point is, is that players that make the Super Bowl, in our case right now, it's going to be the Eagles and the Chiefs this year, are not going to show up on the Pro Bowl list. So I wrote it down from the Eagles, Lane Johnson, Brandon Brooks, and Jason Kelsey all made the Pro Bowl. From the Chiefs, Mitchell Schwartz made the Pro Bowl. So if you go and look at the Pro Bowl roster, there is no... Or there's none of these players on here at all again kind of cool a little bit irritating 
for what I have going on. So those guys, we really don't even know where they would stack up. Were they starters? Were they backups? What exactly were they? Um, for now, I'm not even going to worry about that, but I will eventually put in some kind of thing at the bottom for Super Bowl players um, just to make this all work out right, okay? But in the meantime, what we have to do is we got to go and look at the AFC right tackle one, which is B. Smith. I don't even know who that is. That's such a random name. So that is, well, he's a right tackle. Um, the NFC left tackle, number one, which is T. Williams. Hold on, I'm writing this stuff down real quick. And what was it? Left guard one was Jay Daniels. Okay, so the way this would work just go to roster, all team. If you know the player, it makes it a lot easier to be. I'm, I'm not even going to lie. I don't, I'm not 100% sure who any of these players are just because I don't know their, I don't see their first name. Uh, but we should be able to find it fairly easily. So let's do the left tackle first, which is T. Williams. Probably be. Oh, there he is right there. Trent Williams. That makes a whole lot of sense. Okay. Uh, actually, let me just look at something real quick. Did it? Did it? Was there any? No, you can't click on these guys or do anything. It doesn't show shit, does it? Anyways, we know it's Trent Williams, but that would have been nicer if it actually gave you some sort of information. Um. Okay. Back to what we're doing. So this is how you're gonna do this. You're gonna go to. It's Trent Williams. Oh, he's already superstar. So we got a guy who just made X Factor. Awesome. Edit player. He just went to superstar X Factor. Save changes. And he's a superstar X Factor. Now, ability wise, again, these guys, there is no X Factor abilities for offense linemen. Um, he. I'm not even sure if he got an extra ability. I don't even know. I wasn't even paying attention to how many abilities he had before we did this, um, if he got an extra one. But really, the main thing with this is, even though Trent Williams is 95 overall, one of the best tackles in the game, this is going to give him, as a 10-year player, a chance to re-roll. Now, he's only four off from being 99 overall. So his chance of actually getting any dev, dev points at all are pretty pretty slim he might get one maybe two i mean but getting being a 90 98 99 overall is pretty hard with the way the tool works um but still it gives him an opportunity it gives him a chance okay and that's all that's all that's all we really wanted we want to have a, a guy have an opportunity to get just a little bit better to push it a little bit higher so trent williams was our first guy um left guard Daniels we can go alphabetically which is kind of nice so James Daniels he is a 77 overall left guard he's a star nothing great um, you can always check here too under wild card he made his first Pro Bowl appearance you can see that right right there which is cool um, but yeah this is kind of cool so this will be the first player that doesn't have any abilities right now and we'll see what what he gets when we move him to superstar he should get something i think i don't know for sure but at the very least he's a superstar now which means when we roll the offseason progression he will have a good chance to progress and he's only a two-year player so he's going to re-roll his, his potential and yeah he can go from a guy who maybe was going to max out at what he maxed out at right here to a guy who could maybe get to 85 86 even 90 95 i mean superstars can get that get, get that good so yeah, kind of kind of cool, at least in my mind. Um, so let's change him to superstar. We're gonna save changes. We're gonna find him again. Daniels is now a superstar. He has abilities, um, so he doesn't have anything that's unlocked yet. But he's got two slots, which is cool. Okay, so as soon as he gets, hopefully above eighty, which would hopefully be next year, um, 
he's going to pop one of those abilities. So there you go. That's cool. That was kind of a fun little thing. That's kind of what I was hoping for. I was hoping it wasn't going to always be like superstar top-notch offensive lineman all the time. Um, last guy was B. Smith. So... Braden Smith. Oh, yeah, he's a solid player. Uh, he's a star. So same thing. We're going to get him too. And he actually should get the ability because he's 81 overall. So the first ability is, is above 80. So let's see what happens when we switch him. Superstar. Save changes. Find him. Cool. Post up. And then he has another ability slot for later on. And he's a two-year player, so he will get a reroll of his potential um, and have a much better chance of, of maybe getting into the 90s. So there you go. That's my that's my offensive lineman um, manual upgrade, the manual dev upgrade. Uh, like I said, we do this during the Pro Bowl week because you want them to have a changed dev trait before you run your offseason regression stage that way the tool can register the fact that hey from when we ran the first progression to now his dev has changed and we're going to give him his bonus stuff or the reroll potential for young guys the bonus um role for the for the veterans um but yeah so that's that's what i'm going to do with that i really like this idea to get the offensive lineman a little more love uh have a little a few more abilities out there for offensive linemen because there's there's just not that many um even though they're not part of our ability tool because we couldn't get it to work right. Uh, it's still a work in progress. We'll see what we can do there. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's the way that it is. Um, I think what I'll do for the Super Bowl guys is I'll, I'll just add a few more rows down here for like, I don't know, maybe doesn't even matter. I'll figure it out. But like five or six more rows, we'll do, just do the same thing. And then if any of those Super Bowl ones pop up, I mean, you can just label it one two three four five on one team one two three four five on the other and or just you know yeah i don't know something like that it doesn't really matter we'll figure it out but uh but yeah that's that's where we're at with that um yeah that's that's it oh yes i forgot to mention this because i am very excited how i was struggling to understand how i possibly could have screwed the the ability things up guess what i didn't i just wrote down this stuff wrong it's the, the quarterback ones are correct well this is defense anyway so i i just wrote it down wrong so this first column how it says less than it's actually supposed to be or i mean how it says greater than it's supposed to be less than this is supposed to be less than this is supposed to be greater than this is supposed to be greater than so when i kept having guys that were above 90 but they were on this side and I couldn't understand why. That's because my dumbass just wrote the wrong thing down. So the ability tool is working just fine. I have to update my sheets here, my index, my indexes to match what it is really supposed to be doing. But anyways, good news because God, that would have sucked, especially with how much work I put into that thing. So with that, I have basically told you how to run everything on here again refer back to my original um tutorial when i came out with version 5.0 beta that will tell you what you need to do to run your progressions and how to do it i ran through both years okay so you run year one the first ones that year one the second ones year two and then every year after that keep running the second ones um yeah that's pretty much it i will eventually do another progression one just to show it with the way the tool looks now because i know it was looking a little different uh before for the beta and i will also do a altogether complete one where i go through and i run every single tool throughout a season how i would do it um that way there should be no mistaking how to use this stuff um any comments, any feedback, any ideas, throw them at me. I love making this stuff. I love playing the game, but I also really do enjoy making the game better. Um, so yeah, if you have if you have any ideas, shoot them at me. I, I mean, I'll tell you straight up if it's too hard for me, if it's something I'm not really into, or um, 
if I have wanted and t take it take a shot at it. Oh, you know what? Let me tell you guys one last thing. I don't know who would be interested in this, but I did have an idea just recently. Basically, what I want to do, and again, I don't know if I'm actually going to do this. It was just a complete thought. Um, I know some guys on the Xbox, I don't know if it was last year or the year before, but the guys that made the complete um, fictional draft classes for Xbox last year or the year before. Um, I know it was Raider, I think Raider, maybe Raider Ren and, ah, oh God, I feel bad. I can't remember their names, but they basically made 10 seasons worth of all fictional players. They went and made scouting reports. They made um, just all kinds of cool stuff for it, right? And and it just was cool because it gave you that, like, background on these players. Now, that, dude, I can't, I can't even imagine how much time that took. Um, and I love our draft cast, draft, draft, draft class generator that the cursive and lops made for us for pc because i mean dude it just makes everything so much more dynamic and and i love it um but what i was thinking was that cursive recently created a converter from franchise to roster meaning you can take your roster inside your franchise put it into a regular roster so then you can import it into your own franchise whatever so for example the start today roster which is into the second season obviously that was made through that he was able to take that roster inside that franchise put into a regular roster so you can do your own thing you don't have to start with that actual file if you don't want to um my idea was to generate some draft classes with the draft class generator and then have him be able to basically turn that draft class into a usable roster file maybe not for i mean basically basically put the top players on a couple teams and do like an east west shrine game uh a senior bowl something like that where you can kind of preview some of these players and i can and, and my idea is to sit there basically and take take the game and i will sit there and, and do two rosters and i will contact some of these guys that do all the sick ass te texture modding and, and jerseys and stuff like that and see if somebody can make me some some east west shrine or, or senior bowl jerseys um or just or just even we could just do something generic like freaking ncaa all-stars but just with cool jerseys right and i'll sit there and have the players on there and i'll run a cpu versus cpu sim and you can watch essentially a senior bowl and then you can use that draft class afterward and i'll sit there and i'll edit it so you don't you don't see any kind of like uh ratings or any of that type of stuff but you can kind of get an idea of of what these what these players could do for you you know and i just think that would be a really cool dynamic my point was is that on xbox these guys that made the draft classes they actually did that for a season i don't know how man it must have taken taken him forever to plug all that stuff in because he had to do it manually well thank god we have excel and stuff we can use here but it was freaking cool because you could watch like these guys play before actually even drafting them which is freaking awesome dude again i don't know if i'm gonna have enough time i don't know how much i would have to put into it i am definitely not a great video editor or anything like that actually not even i'm not even a good vi i can't do anything really with video um but i can freaking copy it while it plays and then just you know cut out a few parts here and there and then and then put it put it on on youtube i could definitely do that um but yeah that was just an idea that's that's kind of my next big idea on just kind of making the immersion i mean granted people would be using the same draft classes uh, because i wouldn't just i would just probably just make it like a stock amount of them um but the great thing with the dynamic progress tool is that nobody's draft class is ever going to be the same i mean yeah the players are the same and they might start out the same but they'll never progress the same that's what's the beauty of the the dynamic in the name of the progress tool it's totally dynamic and it you can run the same draft class 100 times and it's never going to be the same um so yeah that's that's my next idea um with that i think we're done here and i will get to releasing these things and letting the official version of the dynamic progress tool version 5.0 come out i will uh see you guys later